a 50-foot-long crushing machine. Just after the dinosaurs went extinct around 60 million years ago, a massive snake called the Titanoboa took their place as the biggest, baddest predator on Earth. They were 50 feet long, weighed 2,500 pounds and killed their prey via constriction. Gigantic aquatic scorpion. Imagine a scorpion with a paddle-shaped body meant for swimming. Now imagine it's 5 feet long. The Pentacopterus decorahensis, just discovered in 2015, swam around what is now Iowa roughly 460 million years ago. Echoes of the ancient critter live on in today's ticks, spiders and lobsters. Walking worm, a worm that walks on legs, which may actually be tentacles, that may or may not have had mouths on the ends of them. No wonder this species is called Hallucigenia fortis. That's unnerving. All right, but there's good news. Hallucigenia was less than two inches long. A dragonfly you'd need a tennis racket to swat. Dragonflies are harmless and nice to look at. Then again, their wingspans top out at around a couple of inches. Their ancestor, the Meganora, however, had a wingspan roughly two feet wide, considerably a little less adorable. A monster fish that could chomp through bone. The Dunkelosteus lived 360 million years ago. It was a heavily armored fish that grew more than 30 feet long. Its beak-like mouth was specifically made for biting through armor like its own, indicating it may have been either a cannibalistic species or one that fought over territory. Their jaws were so efficient they could hinge them open and snap them shut in a matter of milliseconds. It's still unclear what the entire body of a Dunkelosteus looked like, but we're guessing that very few other ancient animals ever lived after finding out. A rat the size of a bull. Scientists have lovingly dubbed these guys, Ratzillas. Fossil records suggest they were 10 feet long, with another 5 feet of tail. While the Phobaramis Pattersoni was herbivorous, these tremendous rodents would have had foot-long incisors. Imagine what that bite would look like. Very abnormal shrimp. It's a shrimp. It's a squid. No, it's a hideous 6-foot-long carnivorous creature called Anomalocaris, and it had tentacles with teeth on them. Their species name literally translates to, abnormal shrimp. A shark that would have put jaws to shame. The megalodon makes the great white shark look like your goldfish. In this photo, the scientist is holding up a modern shark's jawbone for comparison. At nearly 60 feet long, these extinct ocean predators are still regarded as the most formidable carnivore to ever have existed. An eagle that ate little kids. The lack of competition in landlocked spots can lead some species to develop what's known as, island gigantism. That's what happened with the host's eagle, a 30-pound raptor relative that terrorized the South Island of New Zealand. After the Maori people whittled down the megabird's food source, a flightless and apparently delicious bird called the moa, around the year 1400, local legends say the Harpagornis moray was known to swoop down and grab children to snack on. The mega eagle eventually died out but it lives on in your nightmares. Terror birds, that crushed skulls like melons. Scientists call the forest racity, terror birds, which should tell you all you need to know about these things. No, okay. They lived in North and South America until about 2 million years ago, they could grow to be 10 feet tall, and their beaks were so strong and sharp that they could kill other animals by striking their heads downward and fatally cracking their skulls.